In this video, I'll share my top five ways to protect your pelvic floor during pregnancy. But before we dive in, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the bell button below so you don't miss any of my pelvic floor tips for an empowering birth and postpartum recovery. Your pelvic floor is super challenged throughout your pregnancy because it is holding additional weight from your baby growing on top of it. That's why pregnancy makes your pelvic floor more vulnerable to injuries. And in this video, I'm going to show you five different ways to support a healthy pelvic floor during pregnancy. Tip number one is avoid constipation at all costs. Straining on the toilet from constipation puts a lot of pressure on your pelvic floor and it can lead to a pelvic organ prolapse, which is when one of the pelvic organs, either your uterus, your bladder, or your rectum, falls into the vaginal canal. This is not something you want. So make sure you drink plenty of water during your pregnancy, eat a balanced diet with lots of fibers and take stool softeners as needed. There's nothing harmful there. You can ask your healthcare provider what's appropriate for you. And also having a little stool to put your feet on can make bowel movement easier. Number two is do not strain when you pee. So during pregnancy, your baby may apply weird pressure on your bladder and you may find that your urine flow is weaker or that it's um, difficult to initiate urination. That's definitely something I've noticed in my pregnancy pretty early on. Sometimes it can be helpful to try different positions of your upper body while you're on the toilet to find the angle that is the most optimal for your pee to start and for your flow to be easier. Lifting your belly bump gently with your hands can also help at taking some of the weight off your bladder and help with that. So you can try that tip. But the thing you should avoid at all cost is again straining in order to get your flow going, right? If you're gonna go and try to push, this is no go because again, we want to avoid the possibility of a prolapse. Tip number three, do your pelvic floor exercises. Maintaining good pelvic floor mobility and strength should be part of your plan during pregnancy to prevent issues like bladder leaks, prolapse, pelvic pain, and so on. I normally recommend to do two sets of 10 reps a day where you squeeze your pelvic floor for a few seconds and you release for two full breaths. And if you want more info about this exercise, I will link a video in the description below that runs you through the whole thing. Tip number four is work at releasing your pelvic floor regularly. So for an easier birth and pushing stage, we want our pelvic floor muscles to be flexible and relaxed so your baby can come through easily, including some pelvic floor stretching a few times a week to maintain your flexibility is super important for this purpose. If you're interested in learning how, watch my video in the description below about my favorite stretches to release the pelvic floor during pregnancy. And number five is squeeze before sneeze. Sneezing and coughing puts pressure on the pelvic floor and many mamas will report urine leaks when they sneeze or cough. If you've ever seen someone crossing their legs when they sneeze or cough, hit the like button below. <laughs> it's definitely a thing when you're pregnant or postpartum. So to avoid this to happen, what you're gonna do is make a habit of squeezing your pelvic floor just before and during the sneeze or the cough. So this way you will counteract that pressure and close the bladder sphincter preventatively. So to squeeze your pelvic floor, just a reminder that uh, you need to picture picking up a berry with your vagina and lift it up. So now let's pretend that you're about to sneeze or cough. What you're gonna do is squeeze your pelvic floor, lift that berry up, then sneeze, and then release your pelvic floor. And it would be the same for coughing. So if you feel like you're gonna cough, squeeze your pelvic floor, <coughs> then you can release. But it's important to take it before you start sneezing or coughing, right? So it requires kind of that coordination. If you have not downloaded my free book to prepare your pelvic floor for an empowering birth, make sure you grab it in the description below. It is really for new mamas who want to do the best they can to prepare their pelvic floor for birth. I hope you'll start integrating some of these simple tips in your daily life to promote a A1 pelvic health throughout your pregnancy. Thanks for watching.